Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Me and my wife have been away for a little bit of a break, just over a week actually, and we've been away in our motorhome. And now we're back in our garden and things have changed. They've changed a lot. A little bit of neglect makes all the difference. So let me run you through what's been happening. The Spanish moss, or old man's beard as some people might know it, that's doing well. I'll give it a good soaking before we left. And um, I'm gonna give it a good soaking now as well, just to keep it going. Spanish daggers are doing okay. I mean, obviously they don't mind being left to be sort of quite dry, really. It's plants that need watering that you have to take care of, especially the ones in these pots. I've given them a little bit of a drink since we've been back. Here we've got a fuchsia that's only just started to come into flower, quite late really, but it looks good. Banana plant, Musa Barshu, getting, uh, getting its leaves on, looking good. Love the sunshine, I love the sunshine. Ferns are doing well. Alocasia in the corner there. Now if you can see that, it's grown a new leaf. Yay! Wildlife pond's doing well. Things have changed a lot. I mean, obviously things like the, the grass, the lawn needs to be cut just to make things tidy. There's a tree fern. That's got new fronds coming. As soon as they come, I can cut the old, like last year's fronds, I'll cut those off. These are doing well. I think they might be coming to an end soon. Just iris or flags. But this is amazing, this one. This grows so fast. Tetra Panax Rex. I do love this plant. I wonder if I can just put my hand there and give you an idea of the size of the leaf. There we go. It's a monster, isn't it? Ideal for a tropical garden. There's a trachycarpus. Believe it or not, it was self-seeded. I didn't put that in, it grew itself. And then we can walk up here. I've got a lovely urn here, but it's a little bit shaded by this, um, this plant here. It's, uh, this lavaterra but I can't cut that back look it's just about to come in and have these lovely flowers and the agave that's got a new I guess you call it a leaf perhaps somebody could write in the comments and say if it's called a leaf or you know, whatever it might be called and that's got little babies coming down there There's my peach tree. And it's got peaches. Look at those. I thought I'd lost all these because we had a late frost this year. And uh, normally if you have a late frost, you lose the peaches, but that's doing well. Can't wait to eat some of those. My hostas are doing really well. They don't need a lot of care, not really. But I've got this green one, big green one here, got another green one there, and over there I've got one that's variegated. But I don't know if you noticed, most of these hostas, I try to keep them in a tray of water, and that stops the slug problem because they, slugs love these. And really, if they've got to swim to get their food, they won't do it, they don't like swimming. Anyway. It took me a few years to sort that one out, but I've done it now. So up we go into the fernery. Quite a few different ferns in here. And they're coming on really nicely. Been here a few years. Nice big green, lovely looking things, aren't they? Got a couple of stray bananas over the back there. I mean, considering that I've been away for over a week, everything is still quite good, really. 
this olive tree. It's got a few little olives on there. I don't know if they'll come to anything. This is a very old tree. I mean, look at that chunk on that. Now that can dry up completely. Doesn't mind it at all. There's my little fishes. So please give me some breakfast. Okay, I will. Come on guys. There you go. Anyway, let's move on up through the fernery. It's all looking really good. Over here we've got a, a fig tree. And, yeah. Look at that, it's actually got figs on it. Pretty cool, eh? They should be edible in about a month's time. And here we have my magnificent Gunnera Manicata. Let me just pop the camera down and I'm gonna put the camera into a tripod. Give you an idea of the size of it. So, there you go. That gives you an idea of just how big it is. I mean, I'm nearly six foot, so... And it hasn't finished growing yet. It's got a little while left. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So if we take a little walk up this side of the garden, you can see how overgrown everything is in such a very short time. This is another trachycarpus coming on quite nicely in this uh, pot here. Need to give it plenty of water because it's pretty restricted, really. And if we come around here, hello, got some noisy magpies in the background there. Here's a few more different ago plants. This down here is a banana. Now, unfortunately, I left it out. And the main banana trunk, which is this bit here, got frosted. But it sent up a, a new one from the, the root base there. So we're still okay. So all in all, it's not doing too bad. Been neglected for a week and um, just needs a little bit of tidying up. Cut the grass, that'll be a start. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And um, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.